guys, welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here, my name is Tashi. Thank you for clicking on this video. Guys, before you keep watching, please make sure to go hit that little subscribe button. That way you don't miss an upload. I'm going to jump right in into a men's style guide for today, a men's fashion guide, styling tips, and some things to avoid. This channel is all about fashion, lifestyle, and saving. But I haven't really done a video in terms of men's fashion, so let's get right into this one. For the first tip that I feel like is one of the most important, especially right now in 2021, maybe back in 2016 or the early 2000s, this was a trend or it was more in style. Right now, this could not happen. Please, guys, please, 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 for the love of God, don't go all designer out. What that means is, for the people that have that Gucci belt, the Gucci flip-flops, and then they have that Gucci logo shirt, and then they also have the Gucci pants. Honey, you're doing a little too much. Or, even if it's a whole bunch of different other designer, but it clashes because it's not subtle, like the printed Louis Vuitton bag with the Louis Vuitton earrings, the printed Louis Vuitton shoes, then a, a Gucci shirt with another Gucci pants. Guys, simple is key. Please, please, please. Sometimes you're just doing too much. For the love of God, let's please get rid of this. Don't do that. It honestly wrecks such a cute and simple outfit. This tip also goes for girls as well. Guys, designer items are gorgeous. I admire them. And honestly, wear them don't abuse them your whole outfit doesn't need to be layered all in different designer that don't match for the men out there that are wearing these button ups for most of you who don't know what cufflinks are please invest in some cufflinks i will leave them right above what they look like and where you put them guys for the button ups and then you have the button right here for those button ups, add a cufflink, whether it be a silver, a gold, there's some that have designs on them, a little imprint. It makes it look so much more dressed up, so much more classy. And honestly, a button up match with a cufflink looks so put together. Next a little tip. In terms of tying your ties, honestly, it does not get any easier. I have watched People struggle with this from all ages, in their teens, mid-age, and older. Tying a tie does not get any easier. But one thing I do suggest, leave one tie that is perfectly tied to the way you want it for display. That way, you could use that as a guide. When you're done with your tie at the end of the day, of course, yes, wash it, but leave one that is just your guide tie. Like it, you don't need to wear it, you don't need to use it. That's just the one you're gonna use to get the perfect tie and the perfect shape each and every time. That way you're not wasting time doing your tie and also it's the perfect size every single time. Next little fashion tip. Don't be afraid of accessories. You guys hear that? Always in the middle of a video, it's planes, people shoveling, people just having to turn on their lawnmowers in the middle of the winter. We just love that for us. Anyways, don't forget to accessorize, don't be scared to accessorize. Sometimes men feel scared to wear bracelets, to wear a scarf, to wear a cute necklace and the cufflinks because they feel like it's doing too much or they feel like, oh no, like that's not for men. Um, this looks a little feminine and they're a little scared to step outside their comfort zone. Don't be afraid to accessorize. It honestly puts an outfit together so nicely when you have a simple bracelet, when you have a simple ring, even right now for the winter, guys, a simple scarf is so nice on all men's outfits. Honestly, I'm such a fan of scarves and for men and for ladies, scarves right now are like top tier in terms of accessories. Don't be afraid to accessorize. Next tip that is crucial that can make a simple outfit turn into a very classy outfit is layering. 
Don't be afraid to put on a cardigan on top of that shirt. Don't be afraid to put on a vest. Don't be afraid, again, as I mentioned, to put on a scarf. And don't be afraid to wear a sweater, but also wear a jacket. That way you have a nicer layering effect. Guys, layering honestly adds a nice tad bit of style and also to certain outfits gives a nice edgy look but also to others, depending on what you're layering, can give a nice classy look. Don't be afraid to layer it up. Next tip and this one is for the men that may be a little shorter or just their pants are just a little too long and this is mainly for jeans guys. I don't really suggest pulling this off with any dress pants or sweatpants. Don't really think it'll look nice. When your jeans are a little too long and it's going over your shoe, it's covering your shoe, it's wrecking your outfit. A nice clean and cuffed look is better than having a floppy and messy look at the bottom. Instead of covering your shoes, bend your jeans. I promise you it will look a lot better. Next important tip, and this one also goes for the ladies, get your measurements. Get your measurements from a professional or do it at home. Every single website has a different size guide. Every single website has a different way of prioritizing and organizing their measurements. So make sure you have your measurements, all different types of measurements to make it easier for you to shop. Guys, especially with clothing stores that have the European sizing or have very big descriptions, this can come in clutch. You want something that fits flattering towards your body, especially if you are buying something for an event or if you have that photo shoot you want to look snatched, you need your measurements on point. And guys, for Zara especially, for men and women, their sizes are different compared to other places. So this tip really needs to be put in place before you shop at a store like Zara, also H&M as well. And last important tip, don't be afraid to ask for help. Guys, you don't need to do it by yourself all the time. Go ask your partner, go ask a friend, go ask your mom, even go ask the professional at the store. Hey, does this and this match? Does this look nice on me? Is this too big? What do you suggest with this? What goes good with my hair color? What goes good with my eyes? Don't be afraid to ask for help. Guys, there's no shame in asking for help. And honestly, getting a second opinion, especially when it comes to wanting to look your best, is extremely important. Anyways, guys, that wraps up my men's style tips, my men's fashion guide. I hope you found these tips helpful, whether it be for yourself, for a loved one, or for your partner. These are some of my favorite tips that men should follow in terms of styling it up. Until next time, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week.